I've found super simple methods that will declutter your home in no time, and you won't believe how easy it is. Did you know the average person spends nearly an hour every day just looking for stuff they can't find? That's a lot of time wasted. Imagine what you could do with that time if your space was clutter-free. Let's talk about how to make decluttering fast and easy. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're tackling something that a lot of us struggle with, decluttering. If you've ever felt overwhelmed by the mess in your home, you're in the right place. Decluttering isn't just about tidying up. It can save you time, lower your stress levels, and make your home feel like a sanctuary. Let's dive into why decluttering matters and how to make it happen. Let's be real, decluttering isn't always as simple as it sounds. It's easy to feel stuck when you look around and see clutter everywhere. You might think, I'll get to it later, but before you know it, the clutter piles up even more. If this sounds familiar, don't worry, decluttering doesn't have to be overwhelming. I'm going to break it down into five simple steps that'll make the whole process feel a lot more manageable. Oh. Before we actually do the diving, kindly hit that like and subscribe button to support this channel. Thank you. All right, let's get into those five steps. First, set a timer for 15 minutes. Seriously, just 15 minutes. Grab a box or a bag and start in one area. You'd be surprised how much you can get done in that short amount of time. Next, categorize your items. Instead of randomly tossing things, create piles like keep, donate, and trash. This makes it easier to decide what to do with everything. Third, focus on one room at a time. Trying to declutter your whole house in one go? That's a quick way to burn out. Pick one room, stick to it, and see it through. Fourth, get everyone involved. If you live with others, make it a team effort. Not only will you get more done, but you'll also turn it into a fun activity together. And finally, give everything a home. Once you've decided what to keep, make sure each item has a designated spot. This will help you maintain your space and keep clutter from sneaking back in. Now, here's the real game changer, the 15-minute timer. It sounds simple, but it works. Limiting your time pushes you to make quick decisions and let go of things you don't need. Plus, once you see the progress you've made in just 15 minutes, you'll be motivated to keep going. So set that timer and get started. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for more content like this, and it shows your support for this channel. Here are the five steps. Set a 15-minute timer, categorize your items, focus on one room at a time, involve your family, and make sure everything has a place. These straightforward tips can really transform your home and your life. Decluttering isn't just about tidying up. It's about creating a space that feels peaceful and welcoming. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Share your decluttering experiences or tips in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, don't miss my next one on organizing tips to keep your home looking its best. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more content like this. Happy decluttering!